Conrado Popescu. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sparse package. A sparse package contains an AppX manifest, but unlike a regular full package, the manifest can reference files outside its package in a predetermined external location. First, add the MSIX build to the project. Now, because the sparse package support is available starting with Windows build 10.0.19, you need to make sure that the target platform minimum version is at least May 2020. As the MSIX will be inserted into MSI, you need to change the build order. Next, add a signature for your package. This is mandatory for MSIX. Allow external execution. This is what allows your package manifest to reference content outside its package in a specified location on disk. Next, configure the starting port. Make sure that your Win32 app is selected as starting port. Remove entry point. As a trust level, select medium IL and runtime behavior Win32 app. These attributes are used to declare that the application associated with this sparse package will run like Win32 app. Next, enable the unvirtualized resources capability. After that, just build your MSIX package. Then add the MSIX package as a temporary file. To have access to the assets of the application, the content of the MSIX package needs to be extracted in the same location where the application is installed. We can extract its content using the predefined extract archive support, configure as is. To install the MSIX, use the predefined install MSIX package custom action. Browse for the MSIX file and set the external location as AppDir. Then set the Windows build install condition. Then proceed with the unregistered sparse package. For that, use the predefined uninstall MSIX package. You can extract information from the package using the extract from package option and the package information will be automatically filled. Leave the rest as they are. Now that we have configured the sparse package, we can simply add MSIX app declarations to our Win32 app. Let's take an example when we add our app as a shared target for text files. In the declaration view, you can configure the properties of a shared target declaration. As a final step, build your main package and then you can proceed with the testing. Make sure you have the certificate on the test machine. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and also the Advanced Installer blog.